In this tutorial, we are going to learn how and why should we mock some methods in unit testing. Mocking is a very important concept of unit testing. What we do in mocking is that we avoid the actual call to a function and instead of the actual call, we just use a dummy call. We create a mock of it. How do we do that and why do we do that? Let's take this example. Let us create one more method in this class, say, say hello. And its job is only to say print console.log say hello. Okay. And this function is being called when we call call another function, we'll call it this dot say hello. Now think about it. If we are going to test call another function, does it really need to call say hello function? So it has nothing to do with say hello because it's doing something independently. So we should ignore it. That will save our time as well. And this function should not have any dependency on this function as well. This function should be tested on its own irrespective of what is happening in this method, right? How to achieve it using mocks. Let's see how can we do that. Let's write a new test case. Mock the say hello method. And let's get rid of this. Now let's try to call this function over here. My obj dot call another function with 10 and 20. So let's just call this function and let's try to run the test cases. And, uh, and this is what we are getting that it is printing hello twice. Hello, which is written here in the say hello method and it's being called from call another function. So it's printing hello twice because we are calling call another function in one of the previous test methods as well. So that's fine. What we want is that when this unit test case is executed, then hello should not be printed. Means this method should be ignored. It should be bypassed and a mocked method should be called. How to do that? Okay, let's create a mock now. So synon dot mock what we want to mock we want to mock my obj object now this statement will not change your actual object but will only create a wrapper around it now we will set the expectation what we expect out of this mock we want that our expectation should be that mock should expect that say hello should be mocked so that's our expectation and how many times expectation dot exactly say one so we want that this should happen only once fair enough and in the end we need to verify all the expectations mock dot verify fair enough let's try to call it again let's clear it and let's execute test cases once again okay so you can observe that it has not printed hello while executing this unit test case so it has ignored it now to check whether this test case is actually working or not so let's write a negative test case let's see if it is actually called twice let's save it and let's run it again so it's failing it's failing the test case. It says that expected is twice, but it was called only once. So that's how we write mocks. Now we can consider one more case that we are actually passing an argument and uh, we are printing the same argument. And let's say that we are passing hello world. Okay. And let's save it. So what we can do is we can set one more expectation that it has been called with args hello world. Let's save it and let's run the test case once again. 
okay so it's working now and uh, just to test it let's say world 111 and uh, let's run it then it should fail because the expectation is that it should be called with hello world 111 but it was called with hello world only so that's how we mock our test cases so a method should always be mocked if it has no impact on the calling method if you go to synonjs.org you will be able to see that there are different expectations that you can set at least at most never once twice thrice so you can go through this list and you can write your test cases accordingly that's it from this video in the next video we will talk about stubs